In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Behold, I knock, I seek, and I ask for the grace of. We ask you, Lord, for grace that we need to completely abandon ourselves, our whole lives, all our plans to you, to your sacred heart with complete trust. Very often we say we have the faith and we may think that we have great faith but when we are put to the test, we are more inclined to trust in ourselves than to trust in God. Uh, listen to what Saint Matilda wrote. She had a revelation and she says, One day I saw the Son of God holding in his hand his own heart, which appeared more brilliant than the sun, and it was casting rays of light on every side. Then he allowed me to understand that all the graces which God unceasingly pours forth to men according to the capacity of each come from the fullness of the Divine Heart. Now this is in the writings of Saint Madre Mary. She's the one describing this experience that Saint Matilda had. But what's very noticeable is she said <clears throat> the, the Divine Heart, or the Sacred Heart, is the source of every grace, every blessing, but it comes to us according to our capacity to receive. And very often, what limits our capacity, what obstructs the grace is coming to us that God wants to give us when we are put to the test is our lack of trust our lack of self-abandonment into the loving hands of God. Very often this is why God puts us to the test, he wants us to see do we really hand over everything to him in complete confidence knowing that we are going to receive every grace, every strength, every blessing that we need for every difficulty in life, we ask for this great grace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, if you ask anything of the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Behold, in your name, I now ask the Father for a great growth in the virtue of prudence. It is very prudent to be able to avoid all dangers, 
all the subtle traps of the world, to live in this world, but not of this world. Jesus in his teachings said that we would have to be as gentle as doves, but as prudent as the serpent. Now, one of the reasons why he used this example is the serpent will do everything to protect his head because while his head is okay, he's capable of moving, going forward as he wants. Even if his tail is cut or cut up, the serpent can still move away as long as his head is okay. So the, we have a lesson here we take Jesus as our head. So we avoid everything that is a danger to our spiritual life, keeping ourselves united to the head. This now is looking at ourselves, each of us, as a member of the body of Christ living united to the head, to Christ. Otherwise, through foolishness, it has happened to many, they have been separated from the head and therefore can accomplish nothing. So we ask a, a great grace, a great outpouring of prudence to live in this world, but not of this world, to witness to the Eucharist in the ways that are pleasing to Jesus. Uh, Saint Margaret Mary, referring again to Saint Matilda, says, before her death, she declared that one day she had asked Jesus for a favor. She was begging a favor for a certain person and Jesus appeared to her and said, My child, tell that person for whom you are praying to me to seek in my heart all that she desires. Tell her to have a great devotion to my sacred heart and to ask for everything in this same heart. And like a child, to ask for everything with confidence and trust. That is why Jesus gave this devotion so that it would inflame our hearts with love. To turn to him, to unite with his sacred heart, to draw from it every, every grace, every help, every protection that we need. This is the most prudent way to live and to handle every difficulty, every challenge, every cross, every trial. To, the most prudent way to avoid all the dangers of the world. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Sacred Heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. 
O my Jesus, you have said, Truly I say to you, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Encouraged by your infallible words, I now ask for the grace to feel really motivated to work our best, putting to use in our lives for our sanctification and for the sanctification of others, every gift and talent that God has given us, not just the spiritual gifts, but all the natural talents that he has given us. Yeah, he has given us everything that we have to be used for our own benefit and the benefit of others. And whatever leads to our own sanctification and the sanctification of others, this is what is truly beneficial to us and to them. This, therefore, is what truly gives glory to God. Otherwise, whatever we do is not beneficial, either to ourselves or to others. And to say that something is not beneficial is to say that it is harmful, because in the spiritual life, there is no neutral territory. Whatever we do is either sanctifying or the opposite. Therefore, it is, a, it, it is either beneficial or harmful. So we pray that we will feel strongly the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to use everything that we have that will give glory to God. Um, this is why Jesus wants the Sacred Heart devotion made known and spread. St. Margaret Mary wrote is that Jesus told her, publish this devotion everywhere, propagate it, recommend it to the world, uh, recommend it to the people of the world as a sure and easy means to obtain from me a true love of God. And true love is shown by using what we have for our own sanctification and the benefit of others. And it all starts, once again, what I said yesterday, I repeat, spending time in adoration, spending time in prayer, uniting with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, living in the Eucharist. Otherwise, we do not have the love that will motivate us to use what we have practically in life for the benefit of ourselves and others. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. <clears throat> o sacred heart of Jesus, for whom it is impossible not to have compassion on the afflicted, have pity on us, miserable sinners. Grant us the favours which we ask of you through the sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, our tender mother and ours. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. From the no most gracious advocate and eyes of mercy towards us, 
and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Saint Joseph, the Father of the Child Jesus, pray for us. Act of consecration to the Sacred Heart. I, John, give and consecrate to the Sacred Heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, my person, my life, my actions, my penances and sufferings, that my whole being may be devoted to him. I desire to be entirely his and to do everything for his love, renouncing with my whole heart whatever might displease him. I then take you, O Sacred Heart, as the sole object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for the falls of my life, and the secure refuge at the hour of my death. Be then, O heart of goodness, my justification before God the Father, and remove away from me the punishment of his just wrath. O heart of love, I place my confidence in you, while I fear all things from my malice and frailty, I hope for all things from your mercy and your generosity. Consume then in me whatever can displease or be opposed to you, and may your pure love be so deeply impressed upon my heart that it will be impossible for me to be ever separated from you or to forget you. Amen. And we finish with our litany. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mary, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, holy temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, tabernacle of the Most High, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, house of God and gate of heaven, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, burning furnace of charity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abode of justice and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, full of goodness and love, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, abyss of all virtues, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, most worthy of all praise, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, King and center of all hearts, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom are all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, have mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom dwells the fullness of divinity, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, in whom the Father was well pleased, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of whose fullness we have all received, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, desire of the everlasting hills, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, patient and abounding in mercy, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, enriching all who invoke you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insults, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offences, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with a lance, 
and mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim of sinners, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation of those who trust in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die in you, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, the light of all the saints, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son, and on the praise and satisfaction that he offers you in the name of sinners. And for those who seek your mercy, be appeased, and grant us pardon in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You are never alone. We are always there to pray for you. Submit your prayer requests at swprayer.org. <laughs> 